What's up guys this is Hardik here so you guys know that the Pixel 4 was launched with a new feature called as live captions and after all these months an XJ developer did port it to other devices as well and not only the Pixel devices but also every other device so this is not a Pixel exclusive feature you'll get this feature on any device that you own considering that you have root with the magisk module installed so that is the only requirement other than the files that you have to download so as i said this works on a pixel as well as a non-pixel device so first things first for pixel devices if you have a pixel device go into the settings go into the apps and notifications go into the see all apps then tap here to see the system preferences or the system apps scroll down until you see the device personalization services so if you have this particular app then you're good to go but for others if you don't have this particular app in your app settings i'll update you guys later this step is not for you but if you have a custom rom installed or a pixel experience rom you definitely will have this app installed on your device so if you have this particular app installed uh, then go into the first link in the description box below which will be another apk for the same app so this app is nothing but is extracted from the pixel 4 itself and it will only work on Android 10 plus as you can see right over here. So go into the downloads and download the APK and install it on your device. So once you have installed this particular app, go into the play store, go into the settings, go into auto update apps and just check the do not update or auto update the apps. So what this means is if you get an update for that app or the device personalization services app, do not update it from the play store so keep the apk as is if you want to update it update from the apk mirror itself just go into this page and if there is an update available it will tell you the there's a newer or the latest version available so download that and install it but do not i mean do not update it from the play store it will just break your live caption thing so once that is done this is for every other device as well including the pixel devices so go into the magisk module then go into downloads and search for this particular module called SQL Lite for ARM64 devices. Just search for it and just install this particular module. And once you are done, just hit on reboot on the bottom right and then you are basically good to go. So you have to download and install this particular module for all devices, including pixel devices. So once this particular module is installed and everything is done, then you have to go into the browser again. So go into the Chrome or there will be the link in the description as well for this particular apk so this will be so this is basically the uh, xda post then if you have a pixel just download the live caption pixel zip if you have any other device and if you skip the step two which is the device personalization services apk just install the live caption non-pixel so make sure you read the steps there are only six to seven steps right over here and they are pretty pretty simple so if you do not have the device services thing on your phone download the live caption non-pixel zip and if you have a pixel and you have done every step that i've shown you guys download and install the live caption pixel.zip again this link or this post will be listed down in the description as well do check it out if you want so once everything is done, just go into the Magisk. Like once you have downloaded everything from the post itself, go into the Magisk, go into modules, hit on add module. Then you'll see your downloads or just browse to your pixel or whatever device you have. Go into downloads, scroll down until you see the live caption pixel, either the pixel or the non-pixel zip. So if you have any other device except for the pixel, download and install the non-pixel zip. But if you have a Pixel or if you are running a Pixel ROM as well, download and install the live caption Pixel Zip. So I have already done it, so I won't be doing it again. So if you just tap here, it'll start installing or flashing on your device. So again, as I said, this is one of the module and this is another module. So once you have done with everything, like once you have installed everything and you hit the reboot button, your phone will be back on the home itself. Then go into the settings scroll down until you see sound and there we go we have the live caption thing right over here so first things first if you just tap on the live caption thing and when you first go to enable this particular feature there'll be an option asking you to download the remaining data for live caption so when you do it for the first time and when you hit the download button the live caption setting or the option will disappear from the setting itself so do not 
panic <laughs> in that particular moment just reboot your device and this option will be right back on your settings so again as i said if you have a download button and if you download the data for the live caption the live caption option will disappear but just reboot your device and it will be right back so once everything is done and if you have enabled do one thing also enable these two particular feature the very important is this one the live caption in volume control because then you'll get an option to enable the caption right over here at the volume like or on the uh, volume control itself so now as everything's done we'll just test this feature out so go into uh, youtube and just search for any other video i'll just search for my channel for now and i'll just turn down the volume a little bit there we go and if i just open this particular video and if i there we go the caption is already enabled and there you can see you get the live caption thing right over here so you could like drag it up and down you could move it anywhere you want or you could drag down to dismiss but yeah again as i said if you have it enabled in your volume control you could just hit this and it'll go away if you want it back you could just go again go into the volume thing and tap on this and it will be right back on the page itself also if you have youtube premium you could just swipe up and go home and it will be right here at your home screen itself so that is pretty 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 cool uh so yeah that is pretty much it i mean if you even even if you like uh, turn down the volume ex like turn down the volume and mute it the captions will still appear as this is happening on device so you'll get this no matter what even if i turn down or dis disable my wi-fi and the internet the caption will still go on because again as i said it is happening on device but so yeah that is that is pretty cool again so this is basically the full fledged live caption thing happening of the pixel 4 on your pixel 2 xl or 1 or any other device that you have so again i'll just quickly disable these and just drag down to dismiss so yeah that is pretty much it for the live caption as i said even if the live caption thing disappears from the settings just reboot and it'll be right back one thing you'll have to notice or you'll just have to keep in mind is that this caption thing is a huge battery hogger so if you have it enabled continuously your battery will drain like crazy so i'll like i'll recommend you to disable whenever you are not using it so that is the reason i asked you to enable it using the volume control itself so yeah just keep in mind that it'll drain your battery a lot and i am not kidding when i say a lot my device went from five percent to two percent in like literally a minute or so so that is a huge battery drain and just keep in mind you'll have to like recharge your device every time you have it enabled so for now that is pretty much it this was the live caption thing on your uh, devices and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching this video uh, and i'll catch you guys in the next one